so out of the blue one day, I got an email from Brad. I, I mean, I love the story so much. I got an email out of the blue from Brad Feld, who is like, Brad is like top of the food chain venture capitalist. You, are you familiar with limited partners, LPs? No, I'm not, but yeah. <clears throat> me, the LPs are the people who write the checks to the venture capitalists who write the checks to the entrepreneurs. Okay, right, okay. Right, he's a VC and an LP. Right. Big time, right? I get an email from him out the blue one day and just the subject line I say was, you know, are you game for a 30 minute Zoom? And I'm like, well, hell yeah. Like, mm. who doesn't want a 30 minute conversation with Brad? And I'm like, but was there anything else? There was nothing in the body of the emails. And he's like, I just want to know what two things you're working on addressing racial injustice and inequality that I could put my time, money or attention toward. And I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So we get on the Zoom and I say, you know, remember that foundation thing I was talking to you about a couple months ago? He goes, yeah. I said, well, now that's just for black people. He said, I'm so glad you did that. And this is the part, Jeff. He goes, well, what would a 12 month operating plan look like? Why don't you just throw it up in a Google doc and I will co-create it with you. Wow. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So I got that thing right back to him. I don't mess around. He said, this is a great first start. He said, what would a six month plan look like? Bam, got that right back to him. And he said, okay, assume three things. One of which is a $50,000 seed grant from my foundation to start this foundation. Yep. Boom, so there we go. I mean, we six months later, we, we launched right away with Impact and we're doing great work and collaborating with Seth Godin. I assume you know Seth Godin is. Yep, I do. I mean, Seth's an ally and a supporter. Like he's been giving uh, scholarships to the people in my community to his Akimbo Marketing Workshop, which has been transformative for me and mm -hmm. how I think about who I serve and why and how I talk about what we do in the foundation. And I was just emailing with him today. They're spinning up another cohort of that in January and presumably we'll have some more scholarships for the people in our community for that. Um, so then uh, he gave us another $50,000, Brad did, and then, um, they got us into the Techstars Foundation Accelerate Equity Program, which is phenomenal because they do some fundraising matching and just really an expansion of social capital mm -hmm. because you know everybody talks about the dearth of financial capital and access to financial capital to financial capital for black entrepreneurs. But the one thing people don't talk a lot about is the dearth of social capital. And I contend this as problematic and in some ways more problematic than lack of financial capital because a lack of social capital will keep you from executing your would-be brilliant ideas. And worse than that, uh, it keeps you from imagining what's possible. Yep. And it was Albert Einstein that said that imagination is more important than knowledge.